Disney is in a state of disaster. They've tried to pump out products that audiences have no interest in in four of their major releases for the year. Elementals, Little Mermaid, Secret Invasion, and Indiana Jones are all looking like major losses for the company. I have a few different things that I want to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted. And of course, if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon or a supporter via YouTube membership. So starting off with Elemental, since they're all disasters, upcoming Pixar film Elemental is expected to have the worst opening weekend in company history. It says Variety reports the film is tracking to have a $35 million opening weekend. Box office tracking website Box Office Pro predicted back in May the film would gross anywhere between $28 and $39 million in its opening weekend and go on to gross between $89 million and a hundred and fifty five million in its entire theatrical run at the domestic box office. Now this is a movie that they have been trying to hype up for a long time. At this point they are constantly shoving advertisements for it on YouTube and Twitter just social media in general, and clearly they are hoping that the visual effects of this movie are going to wow moviegoers and average audiences and that people will line up to see this film. But I've got to be honest, the story itself really isn't all that exciting. Basically, this fiery woman and this watery guy go on like this adventure together and they have to figure out how much they have in common. And I'm pretty sure by the and they have like a love story. It's really not that unique of a plot, but this movie is tracking terribly at this point, and I bet that they are freaking out over this because they need to make money. I mean, ultimately, that's what every company needs to do, but this is a film that clearly they have put quite a bit of time and, uh, you know, funds into. Now, we don't know the exact numbers, but the rumored budget at this point in time is $200 million, and it's estimated it's not even going to hit that $200 million. They probably expected this to make... 500 to 600 million because of course they don't want just their costs back they also want to double that number and they want to see some even on top of that so they probably wanted 600 million out of this and they're going to be nowhere near it then, of course, we have The Little Mermaid, which I have talked about many times, and The Little Mermaid is set to crush Disney's billion-dollar box office trend. Of course, uh, most of the previous live-action Disney adaptations have hit a billion or gotten extremely close, and this movie is not actually going to hit that at this point. The Little Mermaid has so far made a reported $414.2 million at the box office, and of course that is mostly made up of moviegoers in the United States and Canada. And if you look at a film like Aladdin, for example, or Beauty and the Beast, the reason why they did so well is because overseas moviegoers also were very interested in these films. I mean, they really, really needed this movie to make a lot, and it's it seemed like they, you know, had a lot of hopes for this. We've heard that they are doing kind of like a children's spin-off show with a, of course, darker-skinned Ariel that is supposed to clearly be based off of Holly Bailey. They did a lot of merchandise like the movie tie-in books and the Barbie dolls. So clearly they thought that this was going to do extremely well, and it's not. And as it says, you know, Beauty and the Beast, The Lion King, Aladdin all earned a billion dollars at the box office and like I mentioned there are a few that didn't quite hit that mark like Jungle Book made right under a billion and you know Mulan was a big exception that movie was just so terrible but they had put that onto Disney Plus uh, first because of the COVID pandemic so that didn't even hit theaters but again 
the second movie that they are expecting to do terribly. And then you have Indiana Jones, The Dial of Destiny, and the opening box office weekend predictions have plummeted by over 25%. I mean, Disney right now is being handed L after L after L. Their animateds are not doing good. Their live actions are not doing good. And while, yes, one is Pixar, one is actually Disney, one is Lucasfilm, and I'm going to be talking about Secret Invasion, which is Marvel, at at the end of the day, they still have to report all of the earnings to the higher ups and all the money is still being funneled to the same place. So it, you know, it's all just Disney in general. The predicted opening weekend box office numbers uh, are tracking low for Lucasfilm's upcoming Dial of Destiny film. This was a movie that initially I was pretty excited for, I had a lot of hopes for, but once we saw the teasers and the trailers, we heard the leaks uh, about Phoebe Waller-Bridge and the fact that she gets to make the final heroic decision. In the last movie, we are going to see Harrison Ford in as Indiana Jones just completely turned me off from this film. I was so disappointed, and it's like they didn't listen to what fans of, you know, Indiana Jones actually wanted. And now, it seems like they're not going to hit the numbers that they expected. And then we get into Secret Invasion. Now, this, of course, is still pretty up in the air, right? We are still a little bit of ways away from this uh, show actually releasing. And this is one that people had high expectations for because they were introducing a lot of big new actors into the MCU, primarily Amelia Clark, who of course, of course played Daenerys in Game of Thrones and people were hyped for that. Of course, it is, you know, Samuel L. Jackson, uh, Nick Fury focused, which is also really great. But uh, according to Giant Freaking Robot, Marvel's newest show is record set setting awful. Bad news for Marvel fans who were looking forward to this uh, Marvel spin-off series, Secret Invasion. The numbers are in and it turns out critics just aren't loving the newest addition to the MCU. Now, of course, like I always say, half the time critics are wrong. The critic scores are awful and we end up loving the films that they absolutely panned or the shows that they absolutely panned. And right now it is sitting at a lukewarm 72%, which isn't the worst, but that means that the audience scores could go uh, vastly one way or vastly the other, the people could absolutely eat the show up or it could truly be one of the worst shows that, you know, Disney has put out and we've seen from the MCU. I really want to keep my, uh, hopes up for this. I still am, you know, a little bit optimistically, uh, curious about it. I want this to be decent because I'm so sick and tired of seeing so much trash content release. I don't talk about shows and movies and video games that are bad just to hate on them, right? I talk about them because I want them to be good. I have enjoyed several of the last Disney live-action princess films and thought that they were decent, like Cinderella, Beauty and the Beast, Lion King, even though that was like 95% CGI. I love Indiana Jones. I don't really care about Elemental. I have like Pixar films in the past, but MCU has been off track for years, but I would love if they could turn it back around and actually make good content again. We don't know how a lot of these projects are going to turn out. They could completely go great. I mean, they could surprise us and shock us. Secret Invasion could come out and do fantastic. Dial of Destiny could come out and do fantastic, but it's just looking like they have four major failures that are up and coming. I will be, of course, keeping my eye on all of these projects, but it is not looking good for the company at this point. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this and of course found it important and informative, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.